begin the exercise. My left hand is warmer. Feel your left hand getting warmer every time you say the words. You say the words with the rhythm of your breathing. AFTE, autogenic feedback training exercise, is really three things. Uh, the main thing is uh, an actual training procedure in which we can teach people how to control up to 20 responses simultaneously. A second component of this system is the ambulatory monitoring system that our subject is wearing at Lewis today. It consists of a white garment and uh, several sensors uh, mounted on the garment. And with this system, we can measure environmental impact on a person's physiology. What does microgravity do to them? What does an airplane do to them? And the last component, the major thing being tested uh, today, is the Pentium-based system for delivering displays of these physiological responses to subjects during the training itself. The idea would be that the clinician would not have to travel around the country in order to administer the procedures, but instead could stay at a, at a local facility, for example, in California or here in Cleveland, and provide the treatment to anyone uh, many miles away. The demonstration today showed that the subject could be over 2,000 miles away from the clinician and still uh, reach the goals that were prescribed as part of the procedure. Once I, I push you in front of the displays, I introduce you to the self-suggestion exercises of autogenic therapy. I show you how to focus attention on specific muscle groups, for example, how to relax those muscles at the back of your neck. I teach you how to focus on the sensations in the fingertips in your right hand so well that you're not paying attention to anything else in the room. You're just paying attention to the fingertips in your right hand. Feel your left hand getting warm every time you say the words. You say the words with the rhythm of your breathing. When you do these exercises in series, when the therapist or trainer provides you with meaningful information about am I succeeding, am I not succeeding, people learn pretty fast. We are not modifying your vestibular system. We are not modifying your perception of your environment or the way your inner ear works. We're modifying your reaction to that stimulus. So if uh, previously that stimulus made your heart beat faster, we teach you how to not do that. By mimicking your own resting levels and knowing where they are and how to get to them, you eliminate the symptoms. AFTE can be very beneficial to people who want to go into space. There are a lot of situations one can well imagine that make your heart beat faster in, a, in stressful environmental conditions. True, AFTE will very likely eliminate space motion sickness, but that's only the first three days. After that, uh, we have found that this training improves pilot performance under emergency environmental conditions, facilitates sleep, and I'm very happy to say that my work with the cosmonauts looks like we can realistically train people to increase their blood pressure to prevent the post-flight low blood pressure problem that astronauts suffer from when they've been in space for a long time. The US Army discovered us. Someone said, do you know anything about motion sickness? And we were able to use the same technology that we use on uh, Mir to evaluate environmental impact to tell the Army what different vehicles are doing to their soldiers under certain operational conditions. And we are planning to introduce a training program to mitigate those symptoms. We have been working with a group of physicians at the University of Tennessee, which is a center for rare disease. And 44 patients now who suffer from dysautonomia. It's when the autonomic nervous system, for some reason, stops working have gone through our training. Now these are people who suffer from constant nausea, dizziness, and periodic fainting, and for whom no other treatment is working. And we have run them through this training, and it's working. It's providing them with symptomatic relief. People who couldn't watch a show before can now watch TV, or who couldn't ride in a car can, 
or people who used to faint very frequently in the course of a day now don't do that quite so much. It's still an experimental treatment, but the results are very encouraging.